Hey YouTube, Carlo here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about mostly sneakers and tech. And today we have a very special episode. We'll do a review of one of the shoes that I've been waiting for for months. This is the Sean Waterspoon collaboration with Nike for the Air Max 97 one. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please make sure that you do so because we are giving away a brand new Adidas for fear the moment we hit 10,000 subscribers. 10,000. As of this video, we're at 2.5. We're gaining steadily, so please make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button so we get to 10,000 as soon as possible. I actually have prizes already set for 15,000 and 20,000, but let's get to 10,000 first. Shoes like this, primarily black or primarily brown, were mostly the shoes that I had originally in my collection. I'm not one that loved shoes with lots of color. I'm, I'm more of the what is the most minimal kind of color that you can get for your shoes. But that changed when I got into sneakers because one thing I realized about sneakers is that you can just really let loose and have fun with your style and with what you wear. And that's pretty much the guiding principle that I've had when I started collecting more sneakers. To go for sneakers that had more character, that were more unique, that had more pop because, you know, it's supposed to be fun. It's not supposed to be just rigid style all the time. It's supposed to be something that you can just wear and enjoy on weekends or on casual days. So the more color, the more unique, the more wild, more fun it is for me. And that's the reason why I picked up, for example, this pair. This is the one of the craziest ones that I have in my collection. This is the Air Max, I think, cone or what you call it. And look at that. All of those bright colors, just crazy, just sick and just really insane it makes you wonder how the heck am i going to wear this the answer to that just wear them now that's the reason why i really wanted the shoe this is the sean waterspoon nike air max 97 one and this is a really rare shoe this is a shoe that i've been waiting for for months ever since i saw it online and i was just really happy to be able to get it from soul academy when it dropped yeah, a few days ago was it yesterday now I'll, I'll get into detail on why on how i got i was able to get it without going through the usual you know raffle and lines and that will be the last part of this video three reasons why i like this shoe number one the colorway is really just so fresh and cool it brings me back really to the 90s it's a very retro thing the color combination of the green the violet the blue the salmon the gray the i don't know if it's brown or yellow but everything combined as well as the build of the shoe is really a throwback to the 90s wherein you had more chunkier, more colorful shoes dominating the sneaker and even the shoe scene altogether. Uh, and it's, it's just so nice to see shoes like this come out in the market. Now, apart from that, I just love the color blocking, how the different colors act together as some sort of waves. So it's really just, you know, it's, it's, it's something that just really talks to me. The thing about style and design is that it's really personal, it's really subjective. One design can appeal to like a group of people, but it can also be really horribly ugly for several other people. Uh, it just so happens that this one, more than a lot of the other colorful shoes out there, really talks to me and really appeals to me. Maybe because of, of I don't know, of, I was born in a certain age, I was in, born in the 80s, so I lived through the 90s and that's why I connect with this particular shoe. Second thing I love about it, and if you've been following the channel, you guys know this about me, I love shoes with character. And what I mean with character, it needs to have different materials and different textures. And that's what you get with this one. It's very unique. You have corduroy. I mean, seriously, when was the last time you saw a shoe with corduroy for the upper? Corduroy, corduroy, corduroy. It's, oh my God. Where was, I, seriously, where was the last time you saw a shoe with corduroy? For me, that's either pants or a jacket. Now, it's not every day that you see it on shoes so that's it's just really you know unique and awesome and and gives it so much more character and depth making it a non one-dimensional shoe other more elements that are cool you have the gold and silver metal lace tips over here then i don't know if you guys can see it here but you even have a velcro patch that you can change out so that you either have a wave icon or the nike icon here uh, on the tongue tab. So again, those are the little things for me that really give it more character, more personality, and I love those things. Uh, by the way, of course, it's really comfortable to wear as well. You have the Air Max unit here at the bottom for the midsole. So that gives it a re really nice stride when you're walking. Makes it a really great summer walking shoe. And number three, not everyone will have this because this is really hard to get. It's actually very unique and very difficult to get because it only came in limited quantities here in the Philippines. To be able to get it usually or regularly, you'll have to line up 
uh, for ra and join raffles either at Commonwealth or Seoul Academy. So it's kind of hard and kind of difficult to be able to buy one of these at retail. If you want to get it for sure, you'll have to pay exorbitant amounts of money. I think right now it's already going for 20,000 pesos, but this actually just sells for 8,000 pesos. So I think that's what I love about it as well, that not everyone will wear it, you know? This, this is the age where everyone wears like Nike trainers and, you know, uh, Adidas NMDs and Ultra Boosts. So it's just nice to be a little bit different by wearing something that doesn't conform to what everybody else loves to wear. Speaking of rare, how did they get it without going through raffles and lining up? Now, a few weeks ago, or I think a month ago, I vlogged about this thing. This is the Seoul Academy Think Tank Travelers, Travelers of Air Passport. So what happens is, every time you buy uh, a Nike shoe or when you visit their weekly installation, they put a stamp. So you collect stamps as you go along uh, this particular passport. Now what happens is when you hit, I think the seventh stamp, you get free socks. Wow. <laughs> or free stickers. I'm not sure if it's the seventh or the eighth. But on the ninth stamp, you unlock something pretty cool. You get a chance to reserve special pairs when they drop over at Seoul Academy. So what happens is they post it on Instagram and you have a first come first serve for people who DM with the passport to be able to secure their shoes without having to go through the raffle, without having to go through the line, you can potentially get the shoe for retail without the hassle. And I think that's that's pretty awesome with this program. And that's actually how I got my shoe. I just did the nine stamps and when they posted on Instagram, I quickly DM'd them, sent them all my details. Then I got the acknowledgement that I was already confirmed for a slot for the shoe. And I mean, that's amazing. I mean, you know one thing, and, and this is probably something that I want to tell the Seoul Academy guys watching this video. I really have no store loyalty because if you ask me, I can just buy from any store that's near me. And Commonwealth is just beside my office. I work in PLDT. Greenbelt is just beside. I can just easily walk and buy there. But I think this passport of yours really works because for the, for the last few shoes that I bought that were all Nike uh, from the Air Max 270s, to the Air Max Cone that I showed you guys earlier, to the Air Force One 270 Safari. I bought it all from your store because of this passport. And <laughs> combine the passport with the excellent service and, and I just really have to give a shout out to the guys over at, at Seoul Academy for this brilliant idea. I hope you guys keep using this because it's a great way to keep loyal customers who aren't just resellers but real collectors who just want to buy good shoes so kudos to you guys and I, and I really hope that you keep on using and making more programs like this one for your loyal customers so i just realized that the vlog went through with buy without even me talking about who sean waterspoon is <laughs> so very quickly sean waterspoon is a vintage apparel collector and he joined uh the revolutionaires contest of nike for the air max 30th anniversary where they had several people iconic people from the community design air maxes and his design was definitely inspired by his retro i don't know background and that's why you have this particular shoe he won it obviously and that's the reason why we have the shoe now being sold at nike stores and nike specialty retailers one last thing it even came with a cap <laughs> so so it came with a corduroy cap different colors the nike swooshes and of course the va to la thing at the back that's the same thing that's that's shown at the back of the shoe so the you, the cap you get separately you can buy it for like i think i got it for like a thousand pesos after get securing the reservation for the shoe anyway that's it for the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed uh make sure to hit the subscribe button because we have a few more videos coming I think I have like one more coming today, today's Sunday, but I definitely have a lot of videos planned for this week. So make sure that you hit the subscribe button so that you get the videos first when I upload them. That's it for now. I hope you guys have a fantastic Holy Week coming up ahead. Make sure that you use it to spend good time with your family and loved ones. Peace, peace, peace. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.